hello to all welcome to the channel geoguru now in this part we are going to calculate the area of each and every region of the state of each and every class of the land use land cover okay and so for that purpose we don't need to uh, write entire thing again and again we just need to uh, replicate this uh, few lines in a uh, function and that function will map over entire feature of a feature collection that we have exported as a imported as a shape file for example in this case we have uh, imported the goa state boundary by using the fao fao gul state boundary okay so for that purpose now we are going to describe a new variable with a name cal class area and in this function we are going to call as a feature curly brackets open close now in this function first of all we are just going to uh, replicate this entire line okay and just paste it over here and there will be uh, some little bit changes for example uh, in this case now we are not using this go lulc but we are going to use the lulc before clipping that means lgp land cover okay then afterwards it will be area uh, uh, we are going to provide the reduced region with a sum with a group uh, and in this it is will be not goa geometry it will be the feature geometry okay and after that we are just going to replicate our next few lines that means after that we have created the list and at the end we are just going to means before uh, and in this case also we are going to perform some few changes but before that we have forgot to copy this line also where we flatten the dictionary okay now after this we are going to define a new variable with a name district so that we can store the district name uh, in our output that means the feature dot get and here we are going to use the uh, name in your shape file of the feature collection through which the name of this particular district will be displayed so in our case it will be adm2 underscore name suppose you are using shape file uh, which you are exported in the feature collection in the earth engine so you can look out uh, like from uh, by which name your district boundary will be called as and after that finally we are going to return the in the form of feature and we are going to return the feature dot geometry first so that it will be stored in a GIS format, not only in the attribute format. After that, we are going to return one more thing that is result dot set, and that why we are using set so that in our output result we are going to describe this district as a string name district. Okay. So finally our function has been written completely now we are going to describe a new variable as district areas and which in which we are going to map in the goa variable in which uh, we have stated the goa boundary and in the bracket we are going to use the function name that we have described over here and finally just to check that everything is fine we are going to print this district area and let's see what we are getting so we are getting result as a feature collection and in this feature collection there are two elements because we know that in this particular goa boundary there are only two district and if we open any one feature so we get 12 properties are here 
and each and every property are with the index of the class name that is class number 10 has the area of 72 km class number 9 has the area of 615 km square and the district name is at North Goa so either you can export this as a shift file and you can use in your area or you can ex uh, in your some other purpose or you can export this thing into a CSC file so for that purpose what we are going to do we are going to define a new variable so that you can uh, store the class name or, or the class number so in this case we are going to use the class number and the class number here uh, list uh, 1 to 17 and in this case we are going to add uh, output fields the district name and it will be concate with classes that means each and every class number and we are going to use this get info so that the class value will be printed and we are going to export this as a CSV so for that purpose we are going to use as export table to drive There are certain things that we need to define like collection and in this place the collection will be the district areas next thing is descriptions means the name of your shape file area by class next thing will be the folder of your google drive so uh, in this case i'm going to define as earth engine 2 so if your google drive has this uh, folder with the name earth engine 2 then it will be stored in this drive otherwise it will make a new folder in your google drive and store in that format after that the main important thing is file format so in this case we are going to export this as a csv and in the last thing we are going to define the selectors and the selector will be this output field and if everything will be okay just hit run button and if there is an export function then the task bar will be highlighted just go to that and there is an unsubmitted task that means area by class just hit run and check everything that the name should have no spaces area by class uh, and then file name will be area by class csv format the folder will be earth engine 2 and click run so it will depend on the uh, size of the file so it hardly take one to two minutes because go is a very small area and let's just see in our google drive so the task has been completed within less than one minute and let's just check the google drive folder so our file has been exported in the format csv let's just open it let's just open it so now this is our csv file in the column and the row name we have the two district that is north goa and south goa and these are uh, approximately 17 classes not the approximately but exactly 17 classes and here each and every value is the area of that particular class in that particular district as you can see some columns are cells are blank because in the north goa part there is no class with the name one in the south goa class no area there is no class as the name one uh, similarly the case of class number three class number six class number seven and all so you can recheck the area of urban class that we have calculated externally in the previous part so the uh, urban area was the class number 13 so class number 13 has two area in the north goa it is 4 square kilometer and it is 18 square kilometer that means total of 22 square kilometer and let's just go to the code and in the code in the previous line we have calculated the area of urban class that is 22 so there may be a slight little bit difference because in the initial case only the boundary pixel was uh, clipped but in this case uh, it was not clipped it was just reduced by reducer so that's it for the day and uh, hope you uh, like this video and uh, 
if you watch this video in the series by series you will get the exact idea how to calculate the area in different segments uh, in the earth engine so thank you